Hi everybody, it's Twyla's mom, Lisa, and today is Friday, August 11th. Friday, August 11th, and you know what that means? We go to the Dollar Tree right after work. Um, just went to my little local Dollar Tree to see what I could find. So let's go ahead and get started because I found a lot of neat things, and I did find a few new things. So first thing I got here is some toasted onion hamburger buns and they are from cobblestone we really enjoy this kind so this is whenever I see it I grab it and I just had to buy a package of these from Walmart and they were $2.59 and yeah if I can get them at the Dollar Tree I'm going to save that money got myself a package of popcorn chicken Warm that up for my lunches. I got um, two packages of the meatballs, the Circle Ranch meatballs. I like to just stick these in the oven and have them for, you know, a snack. Not necessarily for supper or anything. I got myself two more boxes of the loaded potato sticks. I like these. Now, I have heard some people didn't care for them, but I really like them. So, I picked up two more boxes of those. Um, my stockpile of the Gossner whole milk is starting to get a little low, so I picked up another one of these. And I'll probably pick them up for the next three or four weeks until my stockpile gets built back up. And, um, yeah, like I've always said, these are good on your shelf, but after you open them, you really do have to refrigerate them. And, um, yeah, we enjoy it. We don't drink drink milk, but we do use it in cooking and on cereal. So, it's a good milk. They also have 2%. They have skim milk, and I think they have soy, too. So, there you go. Now, for some more food. I really, really like these Sherwood Nut Clusters. Um, this week, I just bought a cranberry one, but they also have blueberry, and they are very good. I really, really like them. I bought a pack for a package or a box of the four pack of the Fudge Stripe Minis. Twyla is going to be getting ready to go to school soon. So, I'm getting stocked up on things like this. I bought a package of Toast and Pop-Ups in brown sugar and cinnamon. This is going to be in a care package for my son because he really likes his brown sugar and cinnamon Pop-Tarts or toast -ems. He's not picky about that. <laughs> okay, I'm, my bag is down here on the floor. That's why I keep getting out of the frame. I picked up a package of Welch's Fruit Snacks to go in my son's care package also. I got a package of Hall's Vitamin C Defense Drops. It's going to be cold and flu season pretty soon, so I like to keep these handy when someone feels like they're starting to get a little bit of a tickle in their throat or something. We can just pop one of these and it won't keep a cold from coming on or the flu, but it might help us so that we don't suffer through it. <laughs> I picked up four more packages of the Ballpark Flame Grilled Teriyaki Pork Jerky. I really like these. Each bag is just one serving each. Just one serving each so you can eat the whole bag. Um, and it only has 80 calories and it's nice and tender. I like a beef jerky that is tender. I don't care for the stiff, hard one. Yeah, don't care for those. I'm just going to put the bag up here. <laughs> uh, like I said, cold and flu season will be upon us very shortly. So I picked up, I got rid of all my old cough drops. You know, cough drops, when they get old, they get sticky. and Yeah, they're still just as good and everything, but... They do. They get sticky. They stick to the wrapper and blah, blah, blah. So I just picked up some fresh cough drops. The Assured 
flavored for the assured ones and these are 35 drops in one package that's not a bad deal and to me cough drops are cough drops they all taste look but when you've got a cough or a sore throat they are nice to have <laughs> My daughter really, really likes these allergy pills. They are the Assured brand. They're just like Benadryl. Um, you get 36 tablets. And I bought her two boxes because she had ran all out. And she's having a little bit of some seasonal allergies for some reason. I bought a Starbust, Starbust. Starburst package of gummies. This is also going to be sent to my son in his care package. Um, you know, I said I wasn't going to buy this for a couple of weeks, but I just went in and done it. Just went in and done it. You can never have enough toilet paper, right? Right. This is our, almost our brand new favorite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now for the next bag. Uh, let's see. Going to lift it up here. Um, I had just opened my last um, box of aluminum foil sheets from my stockpile, so I'll be stocking those back up. I'll probably pick this one and then probably pick up one next week because I don't go through these a lot. But as long as I've got about two extra boxes in my stockpile, I'm happy, and when I open that last one, I know I'd better start stocking up on them. Uh, let's see. Now, these aren't new, and they're really cheapy slippers, but you know what? I just felt like getting them. They're so nice and soft and cushiony, and I bet these would wash in the washer just fine. And Yeah, I felt like getting a pair of these slippers, so I got a pair. <laughs> Uh, let's see. This week they had um, for their, you know how, uh, let me get a sip of my coffee. How they'll have an item of the week. I'm not sure if all the stores have the same item of the week. But my store this week had books as the item of the week. And they were all the same books that I've been seeing for two months now back there on the shelf but I did find one book I have not seen I don't know where this one came from but it says let's just say it wasn't pretty by Diane Keaton yeah I love her she is hilarious I just think she's so funny and everything so I picked this up it has a price tag of $14.39. Let's see what the, the dust jacket, though, says $26. $26. And I'm not sure if this is like an autobiography or what it is. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is. I, it was written by Diane Keaton. So... It seems like it probably was, but who knows? I'll have to read it to find out. Yes, I will. But it looks very interesting, and yeah, I love Diane Keaton. And I even like the book without the dust jacket. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So... And yeah, like I said, all the other books I've been seeing for at least two or three months, they're not very good books. In my opinion, I didn't care for any of them. And that's probably why they're still sitting on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> now, you know how I'm making bath baskets to go under the tree for my granddaughters? And I've got, I'm working on two at a time, two granddaughters at a time. So I've got a pink bath spongy and a blue one to go into two of the granddaughter's bath baskets. And I've already got their popsicle scrubby and their bath wash, their shower gel. I might get them a thing of lotion. I haven't decided yet. So I really should probably get them a thing of lotion. Okay, now 
the past few weeks I've been picking up dog toys, those rope dog toys, because they are so heavy duty. And I really, really think that they're going to hold up. I haven't gave my dog one yet because he still had a couple of um, stuffed animals to get through. But these I'm going to put away for Christmas because we always give our dogs a gift. A little, I'll usually get a gift bag and, you know, not a great big gift bag. You know, maybe about this wide and that tall. And we'll fill it with toys and treats and Usually the boy dog gets toys and the, and our girl dog gets the treats because she just really don't want the, the toys. And um, they share the treats anyway. They have no idea who got what. So, <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to save these for Christmas. And they've come out with these really cool rope balls. And they are really nice and sturdy. Can you hear that? They are nice and sturdy. They look very tightly wound. So yeah, I'm going to put these away for Christmas to give to the dogs. And let's see, what else do we got here? I picked up some more washi. I think I only picked up four. If I picked up more, then it'll be in here. But they still had quite a bit of the washi left. So I picked up four more designs. There we go. This one is not new. It's the denim style. But I didn't never get the denim style. So I picked up one of those. This, I believe, is a new one. It's a kind of a goldish chevron print. I think that's called chevron. I don't know. Uh, the multicolored um, polka dots. I know they had a polka dotted one. But I'm not sure if they if it was in this these colors. I don't think it was in these colors. And then I got a pink gingham. And I'm pretty sure that this is a new one too. So these three are new. This one I believe they brought back out. So yeah. Uh let's see. I got a package of AAA batteries because I needed AAA batteries the other day and I used the last two. So, picked up a package of those. That's another thing I gotta get stocked up on. Picked up two more of these little tassels, the gold and silver. They still have a lot at my Dollar Tree. So, every week I'm gonna pick up one of each color so that I will have plenty when it comes time to make Christmas crafts. I think these are going to look so pretty on a Christmas craft. Yes, I do. And I've already got Christmas all planned out for my friend Mel. I really do. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't have Halloween yet, though. And Halloween's my favorite holiday. <laughs> so i got to get busy and figure that out. I picked up these salt and pepper shakers in the pumpkins. These are going to be great to put out. Um, I probably will not use them. For one thing, they don't say pee or, you know, I know that the salt is the taller one. But I really think they'll be cute for just display. And they are a ceramic or a, yeah, I guess you would call it ceramic. So I picked up those. And let's see, I found something that I just saw somebody haul. I saw... Karen hauled these on Texas Thrift. Oh, sorry, Karen. I'm so sorry, Karen. It's tex Texas Thrift Seek Thrift Hauler and Deal Seeker. I believe that's that's it. Oh gosh, I'm always, she's always going to be K is for Karen for me for me. <laughs> but anyway, I saw her haul these. And my Dollar Tree had them, and I was so happy. And I got one of each color. I got the purple pom-pom, and there is the purple unicorn. And then I got the black pom-pom. And she's right. Unicorns do not have wings, but this guy does. So he's a Pegasus with... But I have seen a lot of the Pegasus horses 
with the horn. I don't get that. Oh, well. Then I picked up one of the red ones with the unicorn. And one of the white ones. These are so cute. I just love these. And if they've got them next week, I'll pick up more. Yeah, I will. <laughs> now, these will probably not be there next week. I did not get these for a gift or anything. I'm going to give <coughs> one to my daughter and then send the other three in my son's um, care package. And they're not worth a whole lot or anything like that, but... And I'm not sure that they work without... You might have to put a battery in them. I'm not sure. But they have the fidget spinners. Yes, they did. They had the fidget spinners. Now, it says for ages 14 plus. Really? 14? See, right there it is. Ages 14 plus. Why is that? I don't get why why that is. I don't know. Maybe they feel like 14-year-olds are the only people who can handle these. I don't know. But I got one in the blue, one in the yellow, red, and black. And uh, we're going to open one. Yeah, I'm going to send, send these to my son. He is stationed overseas. He was deployed. And I just think he'll get a kick out of them. It'll just give him something to play around with while he's, you know, doing nothing, you know, on his time off. He don't get a lot of time off, but, you know, I think he'll get a kick out of them. And here I go breaking them. Maybe that's why they're 14 plus. <laughs> yep, because look, look. I knocked the little light out of it. So we got to put the light back in. But it does pop right back in. Oh, okay. And you can you can pinch them and they will do so, These are neat. I like these. And you can turn them off. Well, now that one I broke, though. There we go. And then you'll pinch them again. And they're dancing. They're doing that dancing. Which this one is probably going to have to be Twyla's because I, I dropped that one. She might be able to figure it out. Oh, there it goes. No. There we go. It's off now. So anyway, that I was so happy to see these. I was just shocked. I really, really was. <coughs> I was shocked they were there. Um, but I think he'll get a kick out of them just to give him something to do while he's there. And yeah, and I'll let Twyla probably have the black one now that I popped the light out. I put the light right back. So. <laughs> But we know they work. Um, so anyway, that is what I got at my Dollar Tree today. I hope you're all having a wonderful Friday. And um, I hope you have a great weekend. Um, I have some friend mail I'll be coming on to show everybody. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, Monday will be question of the week. It hopefully will not be as sad as last week. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully this past next weekend goes by smooth as butter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get off here, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Friday and an even better weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe, give the thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye.